is Monday morning and we are kicking off the week on a really nice note. I spent quite a bit of time in the garden today just working on a few tasks and then have just been working on my computer. Oh, I wanted to share. So I planted a ton of zinnias near our back porch. I also planted a lot of cosmos and we had some bloom last week and some were about to bloom, but I think it was yesterday that I noticed for the first time our cosmos are completely gone. You would not even know they were ever there. And I know the culprit are bunnies. We have almost every time we go out to the garden, either in the morning or at night, there are bunnies in our yard, which is very, very cute. They are absolutely adorable with the cutest little fuzzy tail. I'll have to try to remember to bring my camera or phone out next time, but they just hop away so quickly. So it's kind of hard to catch a, catch a glimpse and catch a photo of them. But as cute as they are, they totally devoured my cosmos. And I'm feeling very grateful that we have the raised garden bed so that they can't eat all of our other <laughs> our other flowers and veggies but yeah I learned my lesson I'm not gonna plant cosmos in the earth anymore because they'll just be bunny food which I guess I could plant them for the bunnies but as much as the bunnies are cute I don't know if I really want them all hanging out in our backyard I don't know but that's a little garden update and today the rest of the day this whole week, we're actually babysitting two girls from church, and I'm so excited. They've stayed with us before, so um, they're pretty familiar with our home and everything, so hopefully they'll feel really comfortable because it is a long time for them to be away from their parents, but I think we're gonna have so much fun. I've been trying to piece together some activities for after school. They'll be in school during the day, but after school, I have some ideas. They love to do crafts, which makes me so happy because I also love to do crafts. So we'll probably work on some crafts. And I saw this idea. Let me, one second, let me show you. So what you do is you take an egg carton and you put a different shade of paint in each little pocket of the egg carton. And then you go on a walk and you try to find pieces of nature or even trash. Um, that you can pick up and you try to match the color of the paint to what you find on a little nature walk. So I thought this was such a cute idea. So I want to add the paint to this egg carton and maybe we'll go on a walk later tonight. Maybe once it cools down a bit. And another thing that I want to do personally that I've really been looking forward to working on is embroidering a pair of overalls. So. I have this pair of overalls and I really love the idea of adding all of these cute touches and I used to embroider quite a bit, just hand embroider um, in college. I would work on all these random projects. I would work on these little Disney outfit DIYs and I just saw actually on my Facebook memories that this time last year I embroidered something for my mom for Mother's Day. It was so fun. I so enjoyed it. I would just put on something on the TV and then embroider. So I would love to get back into that. And since these, this pair of overalls, I plan to wear them quite frequently, like when gardening and working on paint projects, whatever it may be, I really wanna make sure I embroider well and secure the embroidery and tie it up really nicely so that it'll be durable and last the long haul. So I wanna take my embroidery skills to the next level. So we'll hopefully start working on that today. I've been pinning a lot of ideas on Pinterest and a lot of the ideas that have been showing up come with video tutorials, which is so helpful. So I'm excited to work on that. And then I also want to make some soup tonight for dinner and we'll see how the timing is, but I'd also love to make homemade pretzels. I've been wanting to make these for a while and I know the girls would love that. So um, maybe we'll do some homemade pretzels and I'm about to go pick them up from school and hopefully I'll convince them to go to the library with me because I really would love to go to the library. I have a couple books to return and then I thought it would be fun to check out some books for them. I finished this one last night. It's The Rumor by Ellen Hildebrand and it wasn't for me. No, 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 it was not for me. I did get through it, but it gave me a pit the whole time. The story is just a bit too scandalous. Um, didn't love any of the characters too much. It just was a bit too 
just scandalous is the best word to describe it. And the ending wasn't really, I mean, it was conclusive in some, it just wasn't for me. That's all I'm going to say. But I have read another one of her books called The Perfect Couple, which they're making into a TV series, I believe. And I did like that one. So I do enjoy her writing. This just wasn't the plot for me. But I ordered Emily Henry's new book, Happy Place, this morning. And I'm so excited. I've been hearing such good things about it. So looking forward to reading that soon and looking forward to spending time with you all today. station all the little accessories that we added about a month ago maybe two months ago at this point they're doing well all of them except for this one the frame everything else has hold up held up really well and even though we've had quite a bit of rain now it still looks really fresh and new and these containers I anticipate them looking really nice for quite some time. Thankfully, we do get some morning sun here, but they are in the shade a lot, so I don't think the paint will fade much in the sun, but we'll see. The problem with the frame is that once it rains, I've super glued it a lot, but it just keeps, um, I guess from the moisture and the humidity, the back of the frame keeps falling off, and then also this little piece of artwork we made, it keeps fading from the sun, but it still looks really cute. It's just not as pigmented as it used to be. But the back of the frame, and like I said, I've super glued it before and hot glued it back to the front, but it keeps falling down. So I think I'm just gonna give up on this because it'll just be a constant battle. And thankfully it hasn't fallen and broken yet, but that could very well happen someday. So I'm brainstorming what to do because I love having the frame out here and I do like the little artwork we put together. So I'm thinking maybe just keeping, something about this too is it's pretty heavy. So I'm thinking of maybe just hanging it directly on a nail like that and not putting artwork in the middle. Or I could laminate the artwork I could even just use some clear tape and add that as a barrier, stick that on the frame and then just hang the frame directly so that um, it'll just be more supported. I think that's a good plan. We found lots of good books and I actually found one myself called The Paper Palace. It was in the new and new and popular section, so right in front, and it's a Reese's Book Club pick, so I'm intrigued. The cover really reminds me of Where the Crawdads Sing. Maybe it's the same artist who designed this cover because it's very similar. And now I was thinking, oh, we'll make pretzels. Oh, we'll go on a walk. Oh, we'll do all these things. But it's already almost five o'clock. So I'm going to start cooking dinner. Tonight I'm making a sweet potato lentil curry. It's a half-baked harvest recipe and it sounds delicious. So I'm going to get started on that. I'll let you know how it tastes. It is kind of warm for a soup day, but I love cooking soup at the beginning of the week because then it's so great and convenient for fast and easy lunches. So hopefully this recipe will be a winner.
we eat inside or outside? Outside! from the next day it's been a nice morning so far i just heat up some of the soup that we made last night it's so good it's actually a curry and it would have been good to make some rice to serve with the soup just for some extra substance but very very delicious it smells amazing i'm excited to have it again today and this morning dropped the girls off at school and then i have been working on just some computer work editing I still have quite a bit to edit but I want to take a little break after I finish the soup and I want to start embroidering hopefully I even have the right stuff this is my little baggie of embroidery supplies that I've had for many years so hopefully the needle I have will work well with denim in the past the projects that I've done have really just been um, like a more cotton fabric so, like this needle I have seems like it'll be way too thick for this denim. I think I'll need something sharper. I'll test it out. Oh, I mean it goes through, but is it too thick? I really don't know. Hmm. Well, I'm going to figure that out, look at some tutorials. Let me show you the Pinterest pins that I've found. They really, it is so helpful to have a visual. Um, and I'll probably, before I embroider something, I'll probably just try to sketch it out lightly. I know I have a pencil in here, which a pencil and denim, probably not going to be able to see it very well, but I don't know. We're, we're experimenting. Yeah, you can't see that at all. Let me see where this embroidery content is. The tutorials go so quickly. It's hard to tell what needle they're using, but look, we have some flowers, mushrooms, some more flowers, cherries, butterflies. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I really don't know where I even want to start. We have so much potential and so much to work with. We have this whole front we can do. We also have the back pockets. I love the look of little flowers coming out of the pockets. I definitely want to do that for one. Or we could do little mushrooms coming out of the pockets. We're going to have a lot of fun with this project.
use your knuckles like this. Why are why are they all like knuckles? Knuckles? I don't know. Someone a scientist just made up that name, I guess. I wanted to update you and let you know that the pretzels were phenomenal. I highly recommend baking some if you've never made homemade pretzels before. They were so delicious. It's so interesting to really get that soft pretzel flavor. You dunk them in a baking soda boil. So it's partial baking soda, partial boiling water, and then you bake them, add the salt. So interesting, but they were divine and the cheese sauce to get to the next level. So that was a really fun baking project and the embroidery project, it's going well. I am um, taking my time with it because I want it to turn out nicely. I've done a butterfly so far and I've begun doing some mushrooms on the back pocket and I really like how the mushrooms are coming together. The butterfly, I like it, but I might tweak it a little bit. It definitely is giving elementary school outfit, which I mean, I'm embroidering a pair of all overall so it'll definitely give that youthful <laughs> youthful feeling but there there is a way to like make a butterfly look a bit more mature if that makes sense so I'm still playing around with it but definitely I'm enjoying working on this project but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here thank you so much for watching and spending time with me I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're doing well and I'm excited to see you next bye